Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Yeah, so one of my main goals for this episode is to get a creeper farm up and running on the server so we can start gathering up some gunpowder, blowing some stuff up. <laughs> I can stop chopping trees down like a sucker with my axe. Yeah, you gotta use TNT everybody. That's the only way. Uh, but in order to do that, we're gonna need to get some cats to chase the creepers off the, the platforms we build and cats like fish. So what do you know, I just happened across a couple of the local fishers on the server. I decided to join in with them and get some fishies. But it's still, it's still obscenely low. Isn't it kind of like biome dependent as well? Oh, uh, what in the world? Just turned Etho into a fisher I'm as well. getting into this now. I was making fun of it before, <laughs> but now I'm... He turned up and he was like, this is lame. I'm now that. he's, now he's making a mega rod. You oh, I need fish. more levels. I gotta fish more to get more levels for it's the, the mega rod. See now, see, uh -oh. Ethan, this is that's how you get. That's how they get you. <laughs> a bone. I've never gotten a bone before. Oh yeah. See, that's how they get you, Ethan. What else wait, can wait. I get? <laughs> oh, you know, it'd make this even better if we had some like relaxing music going. That'll you attract the fish fishies. On something. No, you okay. put on box. <laughs> that's what you choose. Oh. I feel like I'm in a, a weird post-credit scene. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a fever dream. <laughs> Remember when we were fishing the warden, Green? How, yeah. how high oh. you flew? <laughs> yeah, me too. You just need to get four yeah. people on him and you'll be fine. You, you fish him up, I'll place him. Oh, it's the elite pad! Moving up in the world. Oh, he's advancing. Another saddle. My inventory is full. Oh, I can't oh another lily really pad! Dude, what? this ocean has Etho written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> so we began this season of Hermitcraft playing the Demise minigame, which I failed. <laughs> but uh, as a Reaper in this game, it's my goal to eliminate any remaining players. Pearl was one of the players left in the game, and we decided to go test out our fishing skills on her. Hello. That was looking a little suspicious. Hello. Oh no. What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> no. No, don't you fishing. No, 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 no. I refuse. No. Get out. No, oh. Oh. <laughs> you got a good game. I don't have a bucket. I got her. I got her. I don't have a bucket. Fish <laughs> her in. Fish her in. No. 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 I got it. No, I got it. I got my sheep. Yeah, good luck getting me out of here. <laughs> no, I'll start to get, I'll the dig the hole. Somebody break the no. ceiling! I'm gonna dig the no, hole. Don't you break my building! <laughs> no. <laughs> no! I don't want this, I didn't ask for this. Yank her into the hole, I'm yank her in the hole. <laughs> Press the record button, Pearl, if you haven't already. Come, you're not supposed to come in the hole, this is for Pearl. Is this what the good luck was for? <laughs> I naturally Wait, fell down. Why is this so many videos? You think How do we get work? out? <laughs> Yeah, someone needs to, happening. someone needs to break the, the roof so we can get, get this done. What? Get this done? What, you think I'm just a little task in your day? I'm gonna end up dying. Good. Cub. No. Cub, dig the hole. Jeb, dig yeah. the hole, Cub. Break the roof. You, break the roof. You can't get me. Nah, nah, nah. Girl, you're, you're, in, me. you're in jeopardy <laughs> right <laughs> now. You're breaking my entire base. <laughs> Is it ready, Cub? Is it ready? Yeah. Ah! Three, oh, yeah, go, go, two. Go, go, go. He's coming ah! down. Oh! Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, Wait. oh no, oh no! Yeah! <laughs> 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 the slingshot in her, it was perfect! Well yeah. done! Yeah. Well done! Yeah. And you're still for the stream? No. For the stream? No, no, for the stream. You're fishing in your water stream. For the stream, stream. go on. You'll water, you'll water clutch wait, 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 it, right? Wait, 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 Okay, we do no, count down, though. We gotta do a countdown. Wait, 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 Two. Water one, bucket clutch. Come go. on, do it. Oh, my gosh. Whoa! Oh, no. Wow. We launched her the wrong way. No, no, no. Two. One. Go! You <laughs> 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 got this! Clutch it! Clutch it! Oh, oh no! Oh my goodness! Go! No, oh, 
Wait, I will you balance? Oh, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, that's a good one. 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 Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Nailed it. Hold still, hold still. Somebody just hooked me. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> oh! Well. Oh. Did he hit it? No, he hit it. it. He hits it. Let's do it again. Ooh. Do it again. That wasn't far enough. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. <laughs> Ready? Three, Ready? two, one. Go! Oh, it's Whoa! Whoa! I bounced! Whoa! Whoa! I like bounced on that one. <laughs> hold still. Stop he keeps moving. dodging him. He keeps moving. <laughs> no, no, you guys are missing. All right. All right, we're going now. Three up, we all on. Right, there we go. Move slightly Rolling. forward. Forward. How are those Three, those hairs plugging? Two. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, I wait, fell wait, in the water. Wait. Three, two, one. Pull. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Can he do it? Oh no. Hey. <laughs> oh, I got the water down, but it didn't save me. All right, I think this is your end. Oh, it oh, lives. Boy. What Let's is go. this? So we had some fun, but now it was time to get to work building our creeper farm. And I was planning on putting it underground, so I figured we'd have to do a lot of digging. And I should probably get a beacon to make that a bit faster. So into the nether we headed. Did I interest you in some gold, my good sir? We got uh, plenty of gold ready for you right here. Just, uh, just stop trying to kill me. No, no, no. You can take their gold. You don't have to kill me. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of gold for everybody. Except for the babies. We don't want the babies. Get out of here. They kind of throw it towards you, too, don't they? Like, if I'm over here, they're throwing it this direction. If I'm over here, they throw it this way. I don't know what we're going to do with this guy, but I feel for him. You know, he's just been sitting here forever. Oh, careful. Careful. How come I haven't seen you on a camel yet, but you made me go with you to drag a camel all the way back here? And I've seen you on every single creature that can have a saddle, except a pig and a camel. Why Why are you so interested in these camels, Jem? Like, you made me go get a camel, like, 20,000 blocks away, and they don't do anything. God. I don't understand. I don't know where I saw this, but... Like you just start walking someone back to their home when they're talking to you, and then you <laughs> to leave get rid them of them, there. <laughs> and you yeah. just leave them. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're you're just about there. All right, bye bye. <laughs> you guys are supposed to stay in the fortress. What are you doing down here? <laughs> oh man, there's so many of them. Oh, we got one. First one. I was gonna put down like a respawn anchor here for anyone that wants to use it. Oh no. I don't have enough firepower for this. It's too many. There's too many, I tell ya. Okay. There we go, we got it. That's three. We're doing this a different way than usual as well. I usually don't go for the tunnel method. I go for under the end portal. So we'll see how this is. We'll see what happens here. Back away, don't get too close. I think we're safe to just snipe, right? Oh yeah, it actually contains them better than I thought. I thought he would be like here already. Okay, so this is pretty good. I got power five bow, super strong. You know how it is. Do I want to leave him for a bit so I get some uh, deep slate maybe? This actually seems really safe. All right, I think I'm just gonna finish him. There we go. Nice, nice. We got ourselves a nether star. A little bit of deep slate here. How much deep slate did we actually get from that? Quite a bit actually. First beacon. Yes! I gotcha! Oh, oh, ah, we got a little kitty. Don't tell Pearl about this, okay? I, I mean, we're neighbors. Neighbors help each other out with things all the time, right? It's just, uh, there's a bit of a gray area to, you know, take the offspring of our favorite kitty and put them in my creeper farm for all eternity. And, shoot. Okay, get our iron in. We want the haste to, of course. With the beacon now in hand, it was time to get to digging out our creeper farm. So I picked a location in the bay area by our home uh, because I wanted a low spot for better spawn rates and I wanted to hide it underground so it wouldn't be ugly. <laughs> so started digging it out with the haste too. 
Had to go get some mud for the walls. I wanted to make it look nice, and we started to build them up. Okay, so I was just building up our walls here in the creeper farm. I stopped for a moment to, like, check messages and, and you know, internet things. And when I came back, you hear that? I think we might have a skeleton farm here. Like, right by us. <laughs> it's very loud. I've spent so long the first, like, week on the server here trying to find a skelly spawner, and I couldn't find one. <laughs> There's one, like, right by my base here. Oh, I don't really need it now, but... Yeah, we might do something with it. What, what do we got in the chest here? Oh, gold horse armor. Always good. Always good. And another notch apple. So I converted some of the hole I dug there into moss blocks, but I realized I was going to need a lot more than I had. So I put out an offer in chat for anybody that wanted a, an area dug out. I would come by and uh, do a little bit for them. Boy, I tell you, impulse is rubbing off on you like crazy. What, what what do you mean? He's always got to have this big eye everywhere. You got your big ass now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like brothers. So just bone meal the moss. Right. Bone meal the moss and stop. Boom. So, oh, is this all moss now? There's a lot of it is moss now, yeah. So it kind of randomly oh, spreads and you get these like azalea trees. You get grass, you get moss, and then you take your hoe and you can just zoop. And now you have moss blocks. Now, what are you going to use moss blocks for? I'm building something that uses it, so. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so you, you're saying you do that in literally any block and it converts it to a moss block? A lot of the natural blocks, yeah. So it, you can instant mine it with stone tools even. So if you got to dig really? an area quickly, it, it kind of saves a bunch of time. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. With, without so needing you, a beacon or anything, you can just like use wrap it up you moss yeah. it up and then dig it out so yeah. what would it um what if it was like a diamond ore <laughs> would it turn it no no it doesn't get rid of the ores and stuff you still get all that stuff okay all right i learned something uh-huh thanks man pretty cool <laughs> i'll grab what i need here and hopefully you'll have less to dig yeah yeah i i dig it thank you I decided to build the same creeper farm design I did for season 9 of Hermitcraft because it was still fresh in my mind i really liked it as well it seemed to work pretty good it's also a simple one and I kind of want to test it a little bit further under a different circumstance here. The last one we did above ground, this one we're putting below ground. Just kind of see how it compares with each other. And in total, we're going for 11 layers of 9x9 nine nine layers. And in the middle of each of those, we put the cat. But uh, as I was building this, I got some visitors as well. Oh, nice, man. It's, All right. It's not going to be an efficient one, but it's close to my oh. base. I think, you know, everybody will light up stuff around here eventually. Yeah, it'll slowly it'll be get better good. over time. Yeah, and it's constantly loaded. There's always a straight off, right? Yeah. How do you do something uh, yeah, n super speedy and use it for 10 minutes or the long game? And that works yeah. great, Yeah. too. I wanted to do this, too, just so I could get, like, some stone and stuff or redstone stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I need yeah. to dig something. Yeah. And this doesn't That's require nice. any pistons or anything, so it's like a real you cheap even, early game build. You even took the time to make it look good. Wow. Yeah, of course, you know, you gotta do it right. <laughs> the cats in here will love it. Have you ever seen much with, like, Hoglin slime farms? Hoglin slime farms? Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. Are they aggroing each other or what? They'll, f they'll go after the slimes and the slimes don't fight back. Oh, remember like in the Minecraft days or what? We made the Iron Golem based slime farm. Mm hmm. Yeah. A hundred years ago. And it was the same bug, I would say. You know, the slime didn't attack back. So if you found another one like that, that's gold, man. I, that's awesome. Yeah, they don't seem to fight back. Uh oh. Huh. Well, I, got a, I got a visitor. Well, okay. So here's the deal I blew up Green's Enchanter, and yours is the only one in the vicinity. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> it's a nice Enchanter. You got the whole thing. You got the anvil. You got the, the, the wheel, the grindstone. Oh, it's missing man. an ender chest. Dude, this house looks like a hurricane just came through. Took out half of the <laughs> house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do hermits never do their backsides, man? What it's all get done, man. It's, 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 uh, working yeah. on stuff. Look at my hoe, Iso. It's great. Jeez. My hoe's not enchanted. <laughs> I do have a hoe. <laughs> I have a really funny idea how to kill someone now. Hmm. It's ah. a psychological kill. Does it I'm going to build up sandwiches. No. I'm going to build a tower. Is it like so high? Is it like subs? Subs. No. No. Okay, go Can ahead. you stop talking about okay, your sandwiches? Sorry. 
<laughs> it's, it's okay. I'm gonna build a tower. Is it toast? Well, yes, they will be toast. Hopefully, they would be toast. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll make, I'm, I'm following you now. Good to say, Keith. Have you not eaten today? Yes, I would love to see what this is. Okay, so um, could be this is for coral. This is definitely an Etho-inspired build, but we're talking like old school Etho, you know, like okay. season one Etho. Okay. So we sit in the minecart, Etho. Yeah. You watching closely? I'm trying to understand. Okay. We place the the dirt like this. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Then yeah. we deal wield water bottles. Yeah. And very poorly turn the things into mud. Oh, I like it, Ren. I like it. Very creative. <laughs> <laughs> it's you terrible. got the waterfall in front, so that uh, yep, you can always grab water. I like it. I like it. And then we very badly and very slowly collect the mud. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out the way that I thought it would. Well, I think uh, if we use soul sand instead of the waterlogged um, rails, it might be better. Yeah. That's why we used to do things before, like hoppers and all that, though. Like, you had to manually yeah. pick it up, so you'd use a minecart to go buy it, to grab it. I I'm working on a road to connect the um, the north and the south. I really like so, this road. This is very natural. Yeah. Jim, do you want to play a game? What's the game? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm allowed to take anything I want from your base, and you're allowed to take anything you want from my base. <laughs> Do you want chorus flowers? There, there, you have something I need. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is, but um, I've had so my eye on it. <laughs> yes, yes, we can play that game. Go ahead. I want one of these, Jim. They're so cool. You, you can have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would look perfect at my base. <laughs> I haven't started yet. I can't. I, I can't started. do it. I keep failing it. I think you could. You could clear a couple here for sure. I might be able to. Oh, that's bad. No, oh, no, man. <laughs> Dang it! All the Dude, horse hard. course practice it hasn't helped us at all, B Dubs. Not at all. No, that section. You know the drip leaf section. I don't think I made it across yet once. You got really good at it for a while. I thought. I in practice. In what? practice. You, know, you got fine-tuned with one of the horses, and then you switched horses, and you couldn't do it, I think. It was all over. I don't know if you know RGB values, but like more like 100 green. I don't know if you know HSL, <laughs> but... <laughs> Hue, saturation, luminescence? That would be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be a 50L. I don't know if you know RGB. <laughs> well, apparently you go HSL, not, not RGB. Uh -huh. Yeah, HSL is the... Um... That's the, uh, the, the primary. The artist standard, you know? Yeah. Yes. Someone that this truly understands beautiful. art. That's right. Mm -hmm. I love this area. He's gone. Hello, hello? It happens sometimes. My uh, microphone dies. I see. Yeah. Did, dude, did you hear a growl when you joined? Or, no, <laughs> when I joined? Wait, do you hear that? Is that Cub? Oh, I think it's, Cub's after you. It could be Hypno. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're coming, B-dubs. They're coming. It could be Hypno. Oh, it's you! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look out. <laughs> after a little bit of a break, I did manage to get back to working on the creeper farm and got it all finished up. Kitty Cat's in place, and it's running absolutely perfectly. Uh, the only thing is, the rates aren't the greatest because I have a lot of caves in the area that need to be lit up for it to really reach crazy numbers but it's enough to really you know get into the early game here and take away some of the grindy aspects of the game like farming sand or chopping trees we don't have to do it like a sucker anymore <laughs> we can do it the quick way and it's so much more fun oh i love it oh yeah look at the tree go bye bye it's gone Awesome. All right, we got our main project done for this episode, but I still want to do a little bit of building to finish things off here. It's kind of my loose goal this season to, you know, goof around with the hermits every episode, but I also want to try, like, build at least a farm every episode uh, so we can progress and get resources quicker. And also, this is the one that's going to really challenge me. I got to try force myself to build a little bit just for looks every episode. You know, make our world grow and evolve and change. It's not cool when... Uh, you know, every episode it looks exactly the same around us. A lot of you seem to really enjoy this build, which is awesome. You know, that makes me happy that uh, we got a good flow going here. Let's continue it. Uh, also, you gave some good suggestions. One of them was to try to use 
the chiseled bookshelves in the floor. Let's just mix them in a bit here and see what that's like. Like, how do we want to do it? Do we want to just like randomly throw them in for variation? I'm not sure just yet. Like, I haven't, I haven't done this before. I feel like, like it's a very detailed texture. Like you almost want it to highlight things. Maybe something like this, make the tree stand out a bit more. What do you guys think of that? Could be good. Maybe we throw a couple by the bridge here, they're just in the corners or something. I'm not sure, it's something I'll have to play around with. Another great suggestion I saw was to get rid of the slab for the lily pads here. So let's take that back and instead use a trap door. A little bit lower profile on this, I think that's a good call. A little bit hard to place here, but... Uh... Oh. oh boy, that took a long time to mine for some reason. Do I, oh, I don't have my armor on. <laughs> I'm trying to look good for the video, everybody. Something else that caught my attention here is this bridge. So my first attempt at making a bridge here, I used dark oak logs running along the side. It was very thick, very chunky, kind of jagged. Uh, then I refined it. I used slabs to get the shape a little bit more uh, polished up here. And I'm very happy with the shape and everything on it. The thing that's kind of caught my attention is like the side view here, especially. It's um, It's okay, I think. But a couple things bugging me about it. One thing, when I build, I really don't like having lines like this in my build. Like where two textures meet up and they don't really match. Um, usually I try to get around that by putting trap doors in front or some kind of 3D depth. The other thing about this bridge though is it doesn't have anything like special about it. <laughs> you look at it and you don't think much of it, right? It's just planks. There's nothing, no interesting block combinations, no choices were really made. I want to try out using the hanging signs for railing because I noticed like the the top of the signs really looks like railing. Oh, can we not place? We might not be able to place. I think you can float them in the air, can't you? I haven't used these too much. Oh, I don't want to type on them though. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think, oh, oh, is it going to do it every time? Can I just right click? I can just right click. Okay. I, I was shifting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I like that. I'm gonna try put trap doors underneath as well. They'll almost look like panels, maybe. Connecting to the trap doors that way. Make this a stair as well. Um, I think we're close here. We still have the line there though, so maybe let's try do spruce logs. We just want a texture a little bit more similar to it, I think. And uh, maybe this needs to be a stair. Just work with it a little bit. That's a beehive. <laughs> Middle click not working all the time. Oh, let's make this less bulky. We can use a trap door instead, maybe. I was staring at this, trying to figure out how do we solve the problem? How do we get rid of the line here? And I, I started asking myself, why do we have the problem to begin with? <laughs> it's because we're using dark oak. We don't have to use dark oak. We can use whatever we want here. Why don't we use spruce wood? And then there's no problem at all. Yeah, I think we're going to do two spruce logs and I think maybe stairs here. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that a lot more, actually. So we got rid of the line problem. We still have a similar shape. And it's not like attention stealing. Again, I kind of want it to be a bit of a background thing. I don't want you staring at the bridge. But if you happen to look at it, now it's a lot more interesting. And it might actually, you know, give some ideas, you know, if, if you're building a bridge or whatever. It's not just a, a blob of planks. I'm not quite sure what it is, but there's something slightly wrong with this overhang. I, I, it might be the light. Like, I think the light might be a bit too bulky, but I'm also feeling like we need some wood running across it or something. So I'm just going to try run some signs here. We might end up changing this, but we'll just uh, trial it for, for today. Yeah, so the main reason I added this overhang here to begin with is for one thing, just to give a bit of variation in the build. I didn't want to have like a big long wall of house here with no change up. This gives it a bit of a change up. Adds a bit of shape to the build, something that sticks out and changes as your camera angle changes. You know, what things that are closer to you move faster than things farther away. So that looks good when you're moving around and stuff. Uh, but also, I just like overhangs in general. <laughs> I don't know, they just make the build feel more cozy and, and grander and just, they're a win-win all over the place, I think. So more of them I can put in, the better. Uh -huh. It also houses a farm I want to add here. Just a general purpose bone meal farm. So we can grow a lot of different things here, like the two tall flowers. We can throw sweet berries in here, hanging vines, 
We could do bamboo here if we wanted, but you know, there's a lot of farms that could be improved if we built it specifically for that item. This is just like a general purpose, great for the early game kind of farm. Uh, we gotta do the redstone on this thing still. We have a lever up here. This is how I wanna turn it on, I think. So I'm gonna put a, a piston up there. I think that's here, yes. Right, maybe, we'll see. Um, I think we gotta go forward one block. And we'll probably just do an observer clock. Kind of the easy way of doing this kind of stuff. Go up here. Uh, I think we gotta flip one of these this way. The lever's over here, so I think we're gonna add a piece of redstone so we can reach the piston. And then we also want to trigger all six dispensers, not just the two that the observers are facing at. So we're gonna add some redstone here and here as well. It's gonna flip the trap doors on the other side. I know, I know. It's gonna be annoying, but it's not gonna be running very often. Uh huh. <laughs> I can live with it. And then when I'm done, I'll have to flip them back. But it, it's gonna be hidden otherwise. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be perfect. Okay, we gotta hook it up so that uh, the hoppers can feed bone meal to all the dispensers from a single point. So probably run them like this. And two more over here. And then we'll probably just do a chain that runs over top. So all of them. And we want to probably get a double chest or something just for now. I don't actually have any bone meal. <laughs> I can't really use this thing. I'm just setting it up for what, the future, you know, when we actually do. I'll just put a double chest here for now. We're going to sacrifice a stack of bone meal here just to test it to make sure it works. So we would come in here, we'd flip up the trap doors, and then flip the lever. And we're out of bone meal. <laughs> but yeah, look at that, we got a stack of uh, lilacs. Nice and easy. Awesome. Okay, so with that, I think we've taken care of all the stuff that felt unfinished to me, and we can start expanding the build, building outward, adding new content onto it. <laughs> uh, our rough goal here is just to connect to the other end of the building there, kind of just keep making our way around. Um, usually the way I build is a patchwork style, so I don't really lay down the foundation to the build and plan it all out. I just kind of come up with ideas as I go and just add them on. So like when I got up here, I thought, okay, door plus overhang. Over here I thought tree. <laughs> Over here I thought bridge, pond, and then like overhang. So it's not like anything crazy complicated, right? It's just simple ideas, but they can really go a long ways. Um, now I'm thinking greenhouse i'm thinking maybe hot springs maybe a blacksmith I, I need like somewhere with furnaces uh how do we want to do this i think i want to put a greenhouse like over here ish like that comes up to maybe here so we can look at the bridge and the pond and stuff get a good angle from there good angle of the tree um do we want to change blocks we probably want to change blocks we don't want to do beehives all the way what else could we use? I guess packed mud would be a good option. We do have a little bit there. <laughs> Not a lot. I'll, I'll have to go make some more. We should also maybe move the pond forward here too. I think what I want to do is I want to add like a, a way of getting water up to our greenhouse. So we got to think of like little structure things to add on, little details. We don't want to just keep adding like random bushes and stuff around our build with no definition. Otherwise, it's going to look like a big blur if nothing is defined. So I had the idea here to just do something like this where you have a pulley, another pulley, one on the wall here. Um, these probably actually need to be changed like this. And I want to connect the chains like so. And one down here. And then I'll have a cauldron like this, fill it up with water from the pond. So we're going to bring the pond towards like underneath the cauldron here. And it, we're going to try to make it look like it's bringing water into our greenhouse. But uh, anyways, this episode is getting a bit on the long side. And also, I didn't really have a whole lot of time left to record it if I want to get out tomorrow. So I decided to do some building off camera. Honestly, I was trying to get the whole house done this episode, and I didn't quite make it. Uh, but we came very close. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Worked on the greenhouse here. Very, very detailed. Lots of little finicky little things I messed around with. 
it wasn't the smoothest, but we got it done. And I decided to go for kind of like an open air greenhouse, which technically isn't a greenhouse, it's more of a garden. Greenhouses usually have to have a covering. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a garden area. And I didn't want to have like a bunch of glass. It doesn't look good unless you have like the see-through connected textures and that kind of thing. I don't know if we have that on the server actually, if I'm or if I'm using it even. Um, so yeah, I, I kept it a little open. I did less chunky and threw in a bunch of plants, tried to get as many different plants in here as I could. We got like all the two tall flowers here. We got glow berries. We got berries, sugar cane, the different mushrooms. We got bamboo, plant warts, vines, you name it. We got it. Uh huh. So this kind of acts as a, a place where I can get these things if I don't have them on hand somewhere. You know, just come here. Oh, I need a lilac, bone meal it, kind of thing. Uh, we did do the, the cauldron thing. Although I guess it's kind of sitting on a trap door. I might have messed that up a bit. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we tried to make it look like you get water from the cauldron, you fill it up in the, the barrel, and then you get more kind of thing. Um, we put down some little raised planters put the bamboo trapdoors on the side i think that's kind of cool and just did the old jungle leaves hanging above i'll probably mix in some other kind of leaves there to, to make it look a bit better we did extend out the building here just kept it pretty simple added that section that one and this one over here added a window and then we got like another overhang arch sort of thing here just did red banners because that's all i have on hand right now i might make a fancy one later this comes down to nothing, really. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we put the hot springs here, if I do a hot springs or something, or maybe up on the hill here. I don't know exactly uh, what we're going to do with that. And I extended the building upwards over here, and then you go underneath. This is all going to be solid above us, I think. The building will be above, like the second story. And then we have a furnace area. This is something I always put off every single season of Hermitcraft. I get the idea that, oh, I'm going to build this amazing super smelter. 256 furnaces. No, 512 furnaces. A thousand furnaces. It's going to be the be biggest, best thing ever. And I n never end up doing it. <laughs> and I don't have a smelter for the whole season. So we actually have a super smelter. Just eight furnaces. A little one here. Um, it's not set up at the moment. I, I kind of skipped that. But yeah, all the hoppers run underneath here. They'll deliver the items to a chest. The output over here. We'll have an input chest in the, the bottom, which will put the items into the furnaces. And I'll probably set up like some kind of lava farm here for uh, getting fuel for the furnaces as well and automatically delivering it inside. I think we're going to make it so these will grow downward. Like I'll dig this down and add some hoppers underneath. And then I added some pistons in the back here. And every once in a while we'll trigger these. Boom. You have a 1 in 9 chance when glowberries, like the vines extend, that they make a glowberry. And then uh, we'll harvest those automatically. Uh, for these little planter things, I thought maybe we stick some pistons underneath each of the, the tilled soil. And I hid water all around, so when we move the tilled soil, it won't get untilled. Like we got a sneaky water source over here. We have one in the barrel. This one here waters like these crops here and here. And that way we can move the, the farmland. It won't automatically replant them. We'll still have to do that. But it'll be a little bit of a function to it. Uh, what else? The berries. I think we can hide hoppers underneath the tilled soil here. Like right here. And then we're going to get a fox and tie him up in our garden or, or let him roam free if he'll stay here. And then he'll automatically harvest the berries and they should go in the hopper here and we can collect them. But uh, yeah, I was talking to Pearl the other day and I mentioned that I might not automate everything around my base. Like little stuff like this doesn't really do a whole lot, but you know, it's, it's, it's kind of cool, right? And uh, she warned me. She's like, ah, oh, you got to do it. You got to do it. Inspector Pearl's going to come by maybe and uh, just double check I did it. And I got to make sure it's all up to standard. Otherwise, uh, she might do it herself. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah, look how close we got to finishing the build. Oh, it's, it's right there. I probably got to make a couple adjustments over here. But uh, other than that, I think it's going to be good. I think it'll work out. Before we wrap up things here, let's just go check out the creeper farm real quick. I'm curious to see 
how much gunpowder we got in there. We're going to need it for the next episode, I believe. So I want to try to get a bunch of sand and make a bunch of TNT for that. I don't even know how to get there. We got to be careful here. I don't think I cleared out all the land. Oh, oh yeah, you can, you can take a, a deadly fall there if you're not careful. I'm going to make this a bit nicer, of course. Kind of rushing through things here. Um, what are we at? Okay. So I had like nine stacks in here last time I checked a couple hours ago. Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's going to have to do it for this episode, everybody. I really enjoyed making this one. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Hermitcraft Season 10 so far has been awesome. I love having everybody so close together. I actually have neighbors this season, <laughs> which is a nice change. Uh, and yeah, it's been great so far. Hopefully it keeps going on like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.